In a city full of tragedies, there were some miracles today at the landmark Hotel Montana in Port-au-Prince, where seven people were rescued from the rubble, five of them Americans. Thank you all for saving my life. As search teams start to make their way into the country, some of Haiti's most vulnerable victims may have been saved just in the nick of time. After being trapped three days, toddler Reggie Claude was greeted by his mother after being pulled from the rubble that was his house. And this school teacher, Herrera Nix, said that while trapped, he confessed and said special prayers to God. They got to confirm one person up there they just spoke to not too long ago. People have been buried for three days now in scorching tropical heat with no water. Molly Hightower and Aaron Close were working at a hospital when the quake hit. They had dedicated their young lives to helping Haiti's orphans. Aaron's brother Ryan, visiting from the U.S., was there too. The hospital collapsed. The three Americans were trapped but could hear each other's voices. We had a team since the hospital fell, 30 people nonstop digging with everything that they had, you know, some picks, some shovels, butter knives, rebar. They found Aaron and her brother yesterday. He did not make it. She's in stable condition in the United States. Molly is here. If it's too much longer, then we don't have any choice anymore. We can't send her. We have to find the way of, of doing a cremation. Her body was found at four this morning and brought down from the hills. And her parents would like to bring her body home, but with the infrastructure challenges, Katie, it may take quite a while. Everything is such a challenge here. What about the rescue and recovery workers? It must be so difficult for them. It really is. If you look behind us, you see how difficult it is. We were standing right here the day after the earthquake watching one of these rescue missions. This is what it looked like the day after. This man was calling to rescue workers, and after several hours in the beating sun, they were able to pull him out, and he was alive which is great news. Kelly, thank you so much.